Okay, what were we doing? I know I need to upgrade my watering can. I think that's what I need to do today, actually, so that I'll be ready for next season. Blue Stingray says, oh my god, key to the video of you and Ika Batman was hilarious. You guys should do more. I think he's interested. I might get him to play Mario Party with me because I have the new one for 3DS and uh, you don't have to have two copies of the game, which is really nice. If one person has a, a copy, then you can play together, so maybe we'll do that. Oh, this watering can. Can't wait to get it upgraded. I hope we have enough iron. That could be an issue. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm gonna be like clearing my throat this whole time because this bronchitis does not wanna go away. It's super annoying. I am sick of taking Robitussin and or Mucinex. Okay, I gotta make sure that I get this row, because I frequently, for some reason, neglect this row. Gemma Rose says, hey guys, due to Thanksgiving break, I'm here extra early. Woo, oh, awesome. Yeah, I thought that people could use a stream around the holidays, because the holidays can be great, but they can also be very, very taxing. Especially... You know, because family can kind of suck, for lack of a better word, at times. So, and for some people, they're not even celebrating because they're not American. <laughs> so, thought we would still have our stream. Okay, did I get everything? I think everything's good. Let's check and see if we have... Oh no, I rearranged these, didn't I? Now, how... Okay, not this one. We do need to build a chicken coop, though. So I want my dinosaur. There we go. It's all the iron bars we need. And do I want to keep any of these? We have enough corn. Um, we have a good bit of hops. Ooh. I think I'll keep that. And then the fruit. Oh, man. Gotta remember where everything is. <clears throat> oh, jeez. Okay, I think we'll sell everything else. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. Alright, off to upgrade. Mystic Jedi says, I noticed you liked my tweet and that I added you to my Sims free play town. I did see that. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Clearing my throat is annoying me. So, I know it's probably not super fun to listen to over a microphone. Broken glasses, wow. Blue Stinger says, I can't remember what game you guys were playing. We were playing Dishonored 2. Uh, high chaos <laughs> run, aka Kita kills everything. <laughs> Literally everything. All right, steel watering can. Yes. We'll have to work on getting the uh, pickaxe upgraded again too. But I don't. I don't think I have enough iron. <clears throat> To make the bars for it. Huh. I don't feel like going mining. <laughs> the Nova 6, thank you for the host. Equi says, holy shit, I got so cold I shivered. That felt so weird. Put on a sweater. 
Sailor, Sailor Seal says, update, I got a cat. That's fun. What did you name your cat? Bethy says, I'm from Canada, so we already had Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah. Our Thanksgiving's on a different day. So. I don't know, I'm not really kind of eh about holidays right now. Normally I'm super excited about Christmas. Like that's like my favorite holiday. But this year I'm just not feeling it. <laughs> I mean, partially it's because I don't have a ton of money right now, so it's frustrating with like gifts and stuff. Because there's stuff that I want to get for people, but I really have to kind of like budget everything and make sure that I can afford it, so it's not as fun as years where I've had extra money put back and I can just be like, yeah, whatever. I can't be reckless, and that's never any fun. Toilet Observer says, family can suck energy out. I have to go to a correctional facility on Monday to visit someone in your family or because you are going there yourself all right i think i put did i put the trash up here i did oh no for school okay just checking Do we give... Oh, we already gave Marnie her gifts for this week. Well, that's but... Hmm. Hello, cat. I think I'm going to go check on the buildings at um, Robin's. But I'm going to see if we have mushrooms first. Nope. Must be tomorrow. H. Smooth says, you would not like the current level of Halo 3. My game is on flood infestation. Yeah, I hate the flood so much. Sailor Steel says, I might open an Etsy. What are you going to sell? You named your cat Meredith? It makes me think of The Office. You need to move, woman. Okay. Wow, that's not that much money. 300 wood, 100 stone. Hmm. A shed. That's expensive. Hmm. Maybe I'll cut down some trees. Here's a tree. This isn't on my property. Whoops, go this way. This isn't on my property, but I'm going to cut it down anyway. Bethy says, I have all my Christmas decorations up in my room, and I'm bugging my mom to set up the tree in the living room. We would always uh, <clears throat> set up the tree after Thanksgiving. Like, usually the day after. Hey gamer boy, what's up? Sailor Seal says I adopted her about three months ago, and she's two years old. Her breed is a tortoise shell, and she's the laziest, most affectionate cat I've ever met. Aw, you got a torty. Equi says I want a ferret. <laughs> Ferrets are really cute. I'd be afraid that I was allergic to them though. I'm allergic to like dog and cat hair so just makes me think that could be not good everyone wants pets Nova 6 wants rats Bethy wants a bunny or an otter 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not legal. My dog kind of looks like an otter. You're gonna soft reset for a shiny relic? Good luck, my friend. Good luck. Cause, uh, that's gonna be a long road. Like 400, 500 soft resets at least. And the cutscene is so long. I think somebody said it was like two minutes or something. It's really long. I was, I was trying to soft reset for a female Poplio and it just, I just got frustrated very quickly because I was like, I can't deal with all of this text. It's just not happening. Hey, girl and a half. Who's the half? H. Smoot says, I just bought a penguin plushie. Is it of anything, or is it just of a random penguin? Like, for, is it, like, for Christmas decorations? Twilight Observer says, I had the luck of someone sending me a female poply over GTS. Oh. Yeah, I haven't really used that. I don't even know if I have any more trees to really chop down. Because my axe isn't strong enough to break these yet. Here's a tree. I'm almost out of stamina, though. I gotta watch it. Just a blue penguin. Gamer Boy says, I'm so far at soft reset 547. Oh my gosh. I don't have that type of patience, people. I don't know how you guys do. Too much for me. Is the gel is the Moonlight Jelly Festival tomorrow? I think it might actually be tomorrow. I thought for a second that I missed it. One in four thousand chance they lied? What do you mean? Echoey says, I want so many different animals, but I don't want to face the reality that I have to choose. Yeah, my options are kind of limited because of being allergic. Look at that money! I wish I hadn't nerfed blueberries, man. Oh, you might sell doll clothes or jewelry? That's cool. I don't really have those skills. Oh, I learned how to cook bread. Great. Well, there's no point in watering these except for the corn. So I'm pretty sure, oh wait, there's no point. I can't water anything because I don't have my watering can. So, <laughs> pointless, yes, 10 p.m., blah, blah, blah. Okay, we'll do that. How exciting. Okay, um, I guess we will go mining because, well, we almost have enough iron ore to upgrade the copper pickaxe. So I'll just bring a couple field snacks. We won't stay there too long, hopefully. And I'll try to get some more iron. Nope, this is the fruit one. That is not what I wanted. All right, let's go. Wait, my mushrooms should be ready, actually. I'll get them first. Okay. 
Gamer Boy says, at least I'm not my friend. His Litten was white, but he soft reset too quickly. Oh no. <laughs> I would cry. Hey, PP. Yeah, I'm, I'm alright. I'm glad to hear you're doing well, as well. Oh, I know, Twilight Observer. I saw that, but I'm that's something I'm gonna I'm gonna fight for because that is the Pokemon I'm most excited about. <clears throat> so, oh, spoilers for the Let's Play. <laughs> Someday I will have one of them on my team. Not much of a spoiler. All right. Oh, wow, I guess we did get down uh, pretty far in the mine here, level 55. I just need some iron, and I will leave. That's all I want. Cold weather makes everything so soft. Ooh, I think I need one of those for the community center. Maybe? I see a bat. Speaking of bats, uh, did any of you watch uh, Telltale Batman? It went up today. I got up really early to record it. <laughs> Still salty about it. It was supposed to be out yesterday, and then I read on um, Steam's forums that Telltale had to patch it, so they weren't going to release it until they patched it. So I was basically waiting all day for nothing, and then <laughs> and I wasn't sure when it was going to come out, so I got up today at 8 to record it, which is really early for me because I go to bed really late. So... A little salty about it. I don't know if we can make it to level 60. I'm not really gonna like kill myself if I can't, but or kill myself trying to get to level 60. Oh, there we go. Might get lucky. Ugh. Get out of here. Get out of here, sad ghost. Go away. I hate how long it takes to kill them. Because they fly away. Are you going to leave soon because the library closes at 8? Are you watching in a library right now? Mystic Jedi says, I went grocery shopping today and ate too much for dinner. Now my stomach hurts. <laughs> well... It'll probably hurt tomorrow, too. Unless you're not celebrating Thanksgiving. Sap. Oh, I hate these freaking levels where you have to go all the way around. I do want to do some shiny hunting. Uh, once I get far enough, so I'll probably do that for some chill streams then, because I actually really like shiny hunting. And it's pretty perfect for a chill stream. Ooh! Crystal dagger, that's probably not... 4 to 10, no. I mean, it has good crit chance, but it's also slower. Is this a different... Is that a different lake? Can probably still only catch the ghost fish in there though. That'd be my guess, I don't know for sure. You're going you're going to be from Thanksgiving until Friday? Yeah. Same. Cam Quinlan says, Oh, that college I went to on a visit 
has a four floor library and every floor gets more and more quiet for however people want to study like on the fourth floor you aren't allowed to talk at all wow that's cool Gemrose is the last shiny hunt hunting stream is everything. It'll probably be really chill, though, because Wednesday stuff is always, is always chill. And it'll just be me, so. Okay, so we need to, first off, put all this stuff in here, and then I'm going to have to take some of that to the community center, I think. Um, we need to get some coal and iron. We should put those away. And the mushrooms. Just can't remember which one. There we go. Oh, the mushrooms are so much better than the stupid fruit bats. Like, loads better. Don't ever go for the fruit bats. They are useless. Oh, I'm so happy about my dinosaur egg. Okay. As soon as the watering can is done, I want to get the copper pickaxe upgraded because we're, we're not going to do very well in the mines unless we upgrade that. So I don't want to go too far down in the mines until that is upgraded. Okay, let's see. Is it this one? Oh, we actually need a frozen geode for that. Okay. Frozen geode... I think yes frozen tier and fire quartz we're not going to get to for a little while okay I could actually take one of those iron bars once they're done because I have enough so I could take one of the one of those to the community center so I'll take frozen tier frozen geode do I have an extra chub probably There we go. Chub? Here we go. Extra chub. Hurry up, jeez. Taking forever. There's a new method of shiny hunting. Yeah, I saw that. Equi says, I never understood how people use the library computers. I would feel so uncomfortable with people around me able to watch what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm the same way. If I feel like someone's looking over my shoulder, I can't concentrate. Ego Batman says, I never used my college libraries. Too many people around. That is true. Come on. Let's play a game. It's a really fun game, isn't it? It should not take this long. Gonna go chop down a tree in the meantime. Oh wait, is our is our thing done? I need to check that, actually. I totally forgot. It is. Look at it. Back here. Okay, so we can actually cut some of the grass now. Get stocked up on hay. Totally forgot that we did that. <laughs> there is a lot of grass. <laughs> Holy crap. Your towel curtains fell? <laughs> Wow, 
I definitely thought I would have had a little bit more after that rampage, but I guess not. Oh, finally. All right. That's not... Okay, there we go. My dog is barking. She's been barking all day. And driving me nuts. Alright. So we're going to go up to the community center. And put this stuff in there. Is it a new week yet? Or... Yes, it is. Okay, we gotta start giving Marnie more presents. Because we need to get that underwear. Equi says I don't own curtains, so I taped a few towels to the window. <laughs> well, I mean, that works. Get out of the way. Oh, a sea urchin? I have one of those. Could have brought that. Nautilus shell. Hmm, can you get that at the beach? Don't recall. I think that's it. Twilight Observer says we need to get that underwear. Uh, message that to me and I'll add it to the quotes. Just, like, send me a Twitch message. There are a few new quotes. Not too many, but there are a couple. If you guys want to play with the quotes thing. Uh, did I put everything? Yes. Okay, good. Cam Quindlin says, I dyed an old sheet and thumbtacked it to my window area. Well, that sounds like something you would do. Someone teach me to animate, please. Just followed me on Instagram. I, You're not following the right person. <laughs> John Morris has just texted my mom IDK and she was so confused. Well, I'm pretty sure my grandfather thought that LOL meant lots of love and I was like, Pap, that's not... That's not what that means. He's very excited because my grandmother for Christmas got him the Amazon Echo and he got it early. So he just got it today. And he... <laughs> He's been playing with it, and, like, it's kind of like Siri, except it's, like, a little, uh, it's, like, a cylinder, and it has speakers on it and stuff, and it'll, like, he can ask it what the weather is, and it'll tell him. He can ask it to play a song, and it'll play it, that sort of thing. So he's been, like, just so thrilled with that, which is very amusing. <laughs> I feel like Pap gets excited about technology the way most old people would get excited about adult diapers. It's very funny to watch. Cam Quinn says Pap had a robot friend. <laughs> Alexa, what the what's the weather like today? Exactly. And he's so proud of it, like he's showing it off to everyone. <laughs> so It's been an interesting day. Give me that jam. Taylor CL says, imagine like someone just died and your grandpa was like, I'm so sorry for your loss, Ella. I know. He probably did say it like at inappropriate times. I would not be surprised. He didn't to me, but I had to tell him that's not what that means. Because he said it to me and I was really confused because whatever I had said did not 
warrant and LOL, so I was like, what do you think this means? Because I don't think it's, I don't think you're correct, actually. I'm going to move this. How many? Eight. Two, three. Okay. So if it goes there, it should be all right. Oh, it's so nice and autumn-y now in the game and, you know, in the real world. Although it's getting really cold. At least where we are. All right, let's go get the watering can back. All right, thanks for hanging out, Sailor CO. Cam Quindlin says he said it when my mom went to rehab. Oh, yeah, that would explain it. Bethy says my grandpa wants nothing to do with technology except for the TV. My grandfather loves technology. He's very proud that he built his own computer. And he likes to show me the graphics of the different games that he has. He was playing uh, The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. And he was like, look at, my, look at these graphics. My game looks so good. He was very excited about it. Ah, 10 minutes. He really wants Cosmo. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but like, look it up. It's like C-O-Z-M-O. It's this little robot and it's meant for children. He's definitely meant for like little kids to play with. It's this little robot that uh, can wheel around on your desk and stuff. And he really wanted it, but it's so expensive. I was like, oh my gosh. And he's like, well, it reminds me of Wally, and I love Wally. <laughs> Bethy says, my grandma has an iPad but barely knows how to use it. Yeah, my grandmother has a smartphone, finally, and she doesn't really know how to use it either. It's kind of dangerous. She always has, like, 500 apps open at once. So her phone must go- her phone must be so slow. Because she'll have a million apps open, and then she'll have a bunch of, like, pages open at once. Cam Quinlan says, he's so proud of his computer and loves that the fans are colored. That is true. He has blue pimpin' fans. He's very proud of them. Wimpa Dude says, not many people here tonight. Have you locked them up somewhere? Their families probably have. That'd be my guess. Oh, I did not buy seeds, dang it. Bethy says, my grandparents have flip phones. Key to lock the naughty children in the closet. I did. It's snowy and cold where you are, Blue Stingray. Where are you located? It's definitely cold. It's not as bad as it could be. But it's definitely cold. Get some of these. Okay, these grow back, so we're gonna get a bunch of these. We need to focus on cranberries, though. Cranberries are the most important in fall. Catalog. Huh. Forgot about that. Oh, we have a lot of stuff to buy. Um, hmm. Do Luckily I have a bunch of money, so we can definitely uh plant a ton of cranberry seeds. All right, here we go. <laughs> It's a lot of cranberry seeds. <laughs> I just spent all my money. Hey, Angry Chieftain, what's up? Oh, you're in Canada, Blue Stingray? I bet it's cold there. Cam Quindlin says, I like your gay chests around your house. Thank you. 
I think they're pretty great. John Monroe says it's so cold, it's like 66 degrees. Are you serious, boy? 66 degrees. Bethy says it's snowing. You're in Canada too, right, Bethy? I think you said that. We've had, we just had a little tiny bit of snow very recently, but that's it. Sorry, I'm wiping off my gunner glasses. See, we're all smeared. Okay. Let's do cranberries first. Because they're going to take up the most room. Hmm. Ooh, I should, um, actually, before I do this, I think I'm gonna go to, uh, get my pickaxe upgraded before I forget. Oh my gosh, I totally skipped the festival. I just realized that, the, <laughs> the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies Festival, I totally skipped it. Wow. No one noticed, so you guys must not have cared that much. <laughs> wow. Angry Chieftain says your chest remind me of the of Pretty Patty. Oh my gosh, the Pretty Patty. <laughs> I forgot about that. Cam Quinlan says you don't have the best color though, purple. Well, okay, I'm getting there. You're gonna have to wait until I build more. Bethy says, you can have all of my snow, I don't want it. I don't like snow, either. It's very pretty to look at, but it's really cold and I don't appreciate it. I saw someone holding their dog in a handbag thing. Do you have one? Do I have a handbag or do I have a dog or do I have a dog handbag? Steel pickaxe, there we go. I have small dogs, but I don't I don't like to really carry around a purse. They're annoying. <laughs> Honestly, if I can get away with stuffing things in my pockets, I do. Like I usually stuff my 3DS and my phone in my pocket and that's about it. Purses annoy me. Jamaro says, hey, when you're in Southern California, anything below 80 is freezing. Yeah, I'm not sure how cold it is here right now, but it was, it was pretty cold. Okay, so that's taken care of. Let's continue planting our onslaught of cranberries. Yeah, I don't have a dog handbag. I do not. Um, let's see. These random corn seeds are kind of in my way. I'm not a fan. And this one stupid... <laughs> oh, I have so many. Where am I going to put them all? is the question. Hmm. Put the pumpkins there. Hmm. 
I think I even have some mixed seeds in there too. Oh, hey. Well, <laughs> got some clay. That is not what I said, Echoey. Not what I said. Though now I know where your mind is. It annoys me that they're not all together. This is gonna bother me for the rest of time. Whatever. Be that way. I don't really have a choice at this point. That one went down there! It's not supposed to do that. Do I really have to... Fine. Oh man, I bought a lot of those. Hmm. Okay, I have enough room. I can plant them over here. It is gonna be a long fall, let me tell you. Because <laughs> there are a lot of things I just planted. <laughs> what does the steel watering can do again? Is it five? Huh, okay. Guess I'll plant these here then. DJM Bella Coco, thank you for the follow. This far my OCD is off the charts. I know, it's bothering me too, but what do you want me to do about it? How long more? Um, what time is it? 8 o'clock, probably... Uh, one to two hours, depending. I kind of was hoping to have time to, like, get a shower and stuff. Because I don't really want to do that tomorrow morning before we leave. Because I don't really want to rush. Okay. Did I plant everything? Yes, finally. And now I can't see as to whether or not I've watered it. <laughs> Great. The glowing seeds? I don't know what you guys are talking about in the chat as per usual. The chat has taken a strange and unexpected turn. I really should get some more sprinklers. <laughs> Oh, uh, la I think it was last weekend, uh, Eco Batman played A Tale of Two Brothers. I don't know if any of you guys have heard of that or played it, but, uh, it's a, it's a puzzle game, and, uh, we have it for the PS4, and it was really good. It was very, uh, dark, though. It ended up being a lot darker and sadder than I thought it was gonna be, but it was really good. And if you're into puzzle games, I would look into it. It's di it's kind of different, too. Because basically what you're doing is you're using uh, one of the control sticks to control one brother and the other one to control the other brother. 
and the older brother is stronger, but the younger one can, like, fit in smaller spaces, and I think he's faster or something. Um, didn't I have... I'm confused. Didn't I have more gold than that? I thought I still had, like, 5,000. Oh, right, because I did the upgrade. That's where it went, okay. Final Fantasy 15 is out next week. Are you getting it? No. Probably not. First off, uh, the majority of my money is going towards Christmas. And secondly, I've never played Final Fantasy before. So... If I got a Final Fantasy game, it would not be right when it comes out. It would be much later when it's way cheaper. <laughs> DJM says, finally made it to a stream. Thought I missed it again for the fourth time in a row. That's okay. Welcome to the stream. We're just watering. It's a very exciting process. The stream just got interrupted by a guy with a curly villain mustache advertising FIFA 2017. What? An advertisement? Really wish I got paid for those. That would be really nice. Especially right about now. That's all I'm saying. Oh man, I hate that. I should have. I should have kept more space between the grape seeds and whatever I planted here because now I can't see them <laughs> which is great Bethy says I never played Final Fantasy <laughs> Debu Pengu says just sent you a bunch of Tad thank you I really need to make a video about Tad because I think people forget about it No, I'm not really. I, I'm not really set to pick up any new games now that Pokemon Sun and Moon is out until January, I think, because that's when the next Kingdom Hearts game comes out, 2.8, and then after that is gonna be Story of Seasons, Tree of Towns, and that comes out in February. So I think that's gonna be the only games that I pick up, unless. If they have deals on uh, Nintendo eShop cards on Black Friday, I might get one and buy uh, Phoenix Race Attorney 6, but probably won't. Just because money. And I have a good number of people to buy for because I haven't done any Christmas shopping yet. So... You know how it goes. Okay. I think everything is watered. It only took 500 years. Roughly. We should go fishing. Because there should be new fish to get. I really need one of those baiting machines. I don't remember what it's called, but it produces bait. Like every day. But I don't think I'm going to get that for a little while. Probably not. <sighs> Lame. Alright, let's go fishing. Bethy says, I think the next game I'll be getting is the new Zelda. Uh, Breath of the Wild? Oh yeah, and Mass Effect, but that's not until March, and they're probably gonna end up pushing it back, because... 
that's just how it goes. It, it's almost more surprising when a game doesn't get pushed back than when it does, because it seems like games are always getting pushed back. Uh, Bethy says, Tad, question mark. Yes, it is an app that you can get on your phone, and you basically just watch advertisements on the behalf of different YouTube creators who are, like, partnered with them, and then uh, they get money. So, it's pretty nice. It's like a way of donating your time, but not your money. Nugget Paul, it's your birthday. Happy birthday. H. Smooth says, speaking of fallen pumpkin stuff, I just had pumpkin funnel cake. So tasty. Ooh. I don't think I've ever had that before. Pumpkin desserts are very good, though. Except for drinks. I never really liked pumpkin drinks, honestly. H. Smooth says, I finished the Bioshock Let's Play. It was awesome. Hashtag feels. Oh, I'm glad you liked it. I had a lot of fun doing it. The spirit of Fritz will never haunt me in Return to Pippa Christ. Fritz is dead to me. <laughs> oh, thank you, Bethy. That's awesome. Um, if a dude says Final Fantasy 15 combat is action based, kind of like Kingdom Hearts' combat. I think some of the devs from Kingdom Hearts worked on Final Fantasy 15. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to look into it before. I'd want to see gameplay before I bought it. Debu Pengu says, the next game I'm getting is Pokemon Moon. Haven't gotten it because I'm in the midst of finals. Ooh, finals are gross. I don't even know what level I'm at in fishing. I think it's six or seven. Use my last bait. Dang it. Fish. Wow. Okay. How about another dinosaur egg? How about that? Oh look, there's Super Saiyan Sam. My one true love. Tiger trout. Oh, well, we got some bait. The irony. Who would put bait in a treasure chest? That's my question. Sam is best waifu. I don't know. I think I might... Oh, gosh. GameStop's doing buy to get one free on all their pre-owned stuff on Black Friday. So I might pick up some of the Harvest Moon games that I don't have. Because I think they'd be good for streaming. I should stop fishing. I'm going to die. Because I'm missing a couple. And a lot of people have recommended Animal Parade to me. For the Wii. And I don't have that one. And I'm also missing a uh, Tale of t No. Yes. Tale of Two Towns and the festival one. 
it's called something festival. I don't remember. But uh, considering they'd be buy two get one free, that would be pretty nice. Playlist of starting. How many tads are a dollar? Um, gosh, I'm not 100% sure myself. Uh, they changed it a little bit. I think you can only get 3,500 tads per per week. I think. Oh, Crystal Blaze 13. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Is salmon in the thing? Uh, Fraser, thank you for the follow as well. Ha ha, tiger trout. That's in the thing. But what about salmon? I think I might have to fish at night slash in the rain. Echo, you're gonna go eat dinner. How dare you. No one's allowed to eat. Do you have any of the GameCube ones? I have... A Wonderful Life. Another Wonderful Life. And uh, Magical Melody. So I think, I think that's all of them, right? Isn't it? Maybe. Mini Donuts 26. Thank you for the follow. What a great username. Mini Donuts are amazing. Is there really no salmon in here? Really? Blasphemy. Fine. I will take my fish elsewhere. Crystal Blaze says, I like donuts. I don't know if I've ever met someone who didn't like donuts. Debbie Panga says, I binge watch your entire playlist while revising. Tried to watch Story of Seasons, but it was too entertaining and distracting. Well, that's good. Hi, Lulu Lynn. What's up? Oh, the game's gone free to play. Interesting. Slap someone with the salmon. Maybe I will. Don't judge what I do with my salmon. Mini Donuts says, thank you, I'm not creative, and I was eating mini donuts while trying to make a username, and it just stuck for everything. <laughs> well, it works. Hazelnut. That's one big hazelnut. Okay. Okay, game. Oh, I gotta get those geodes broken open. I think the pickaxe will be done tomorrow, so we can go get that. Now I want donuts. Damn, the power of suggestion. Jelly-filled donuts are my jam. Everyone wants a donut now. Deacon Batman says, I had some donuts from Canada that had this amazing maple syrup glaze. When did you have that? Debu Pengu says, Animal Parade is not bad, by the way. Yeah, I haven't played any on the Wii. The Wii kind of annoys me because of the controls for some games. It's like, you know what? Sometimes I just want to sit down with my controller and not be messing around with the Wii mode.
No. Every, every. Can you not? Why do you always face the wrong way every time? Like every single time. Oh, okay, gotcha. Someone brought you back Tim Hortons from a business trip? That seems random. Go vacation was everything on the Wii. I don't think I played that. I wish they would make another Super Mario Galaxy, though. That game was pretty awesome. Mini Donuts says, but sure, I'll just ship donuts to everyone. I mean, I wouldn't say no. It's an open world Wii Sports. Oh, wow. Debu Pengus says, I introduced your Bioshock playthrough to my brother, and he was he was so shocked at how good you are with the shock. Well, I'm glad someone someone enjoyed it. People on YouTube are very critical when <laughs> of your gameplay. Like, a lot. I actually just had someone curse me out because of my gameplay. Not of Bioshock, but it was the first time I'd ever been cursed out. I guess that means my channel's growing. But I was just like, you're really cursing me out because of that? That seems silly. And a waste of your time. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, she, right, Amaranth. Well, I'm, I'm growing that right now, so that should not be a problem. We should take a sweet pea to Marnie, though. I hope she didn't lose any- okay good, she didn't lose her heart. Mini Donut says, when's the best time to upgrade the watering can? I do it on the 27th of the month because, like after I water my crops, because then you only miss a day. You miss like the 28th and then by the first of the next month you have your watering can back and then you can start planting everything all over again. So that seems to be the best date. But if you the earliest you can upgrade it is going to be the better for you. Because otherwise it's just like really tedious to water crops. F Razor says you have a lovely voice. Thank you. Gonna make me get all embarrassed now. Bethy says, I used to be so lazy in Wii Sports, sometimes I would have four robots play tennis and I would just watch. Wow. <laughs> Why watch real tennis when you could watch a bunch of AIs playing each other in Wii Sports? That's really funny. Cam Quinlan says, my method of throwing dead bodies is the best. In Bioshock? Debbie Pengus says yay in March the Haters. That's a good thing. I was just like... I probably should have been offended, but I was just sort of laughing because I was like, this person is actually freaking out because they they didn't like... <laughs> just seemed silly.
Mini Jonas says, I'm on the 28th and I have an ancient seed to plant, so I don't know what to do. Um, what season are you in? Cam Conlon says, with telekinesis. Oh, right, yes, you would. Telekinesis is so broken. In Bioshock. Mini Donuts says, I might just have to miss a few days and use a sprinkler. Sprinklers work just fine. Good Batman says, you got Christian spam too. I did just get that, actually. That was also a little bizarre. I just, I don't understand how people find me and then send me weird spam that I'm just like, how did you even come across my channel to send this to me? Because I know it's not person. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Still coughing. I know it's not personal because it's never addressed to me. And it's never, like, about my content. It's just, like, random spam. I'm like, how did you even find my channel to send me this spam? But yeah, this guy, like, copy pasted the longest oh my gosh sea cucumber Ooh, lost book it just vanishes uh but yeah you just copied and pasted like a really really long um i guess he typed it up uh it was just about jesus and then there was a bunch of like passages and it was very weird to me, because I'm like, well, you don't really know what religion I am anyway. And you sent this to me, it's assuming... I don't know. It was just strange. I don't care what religion you are, I really don't. Just... I... Just worry about yourself, you know? And your beliefs. Like, don't try to, you know, push them on other people. I just don't like that. Debbie Pango says, is, is it in the montage? That was brilliant. I think she might have. I think it might be in the montage. I'm not sure. Ark Survival Evolved comes to PS4 next month. I doubt you'll be getting that. Yeah, survival games are not my strong suit. Uh, although I did watch people play that. And it looked interesting. I just don't think I would enjoy playing it very much. Fish. Fish. You're in fall and you're on the last day of fall. I don't I don't know. Can the ancient seed keep growing through winter? I'm not sure how that works. DJM says, as long as the commentary is good, I don't care if the gameplay is good, bad, or meh. It wasn't even like I was playing it badly. It was that <laughs> what happened was I didn't figure out something that happened in the storyline because I was confused. And then when I was editing the video, then I realized, oh, hey, like, that's that's what happened. And this person just, like, started commenting and was like, you're a fucking bitch. How can you not see that? And, like, just kept saying that. And I was like... It's a little bit of an overreaction here, sir. Seems a little bit strange. Sardine. Uh, F Razor says, I worked call center and that had and had an hour long call listening to the end of the world speech. I was trying to help a customer. Oh my gosh, wow. I used to get uh, I used to work in a grocery store at the customer service desk and I used to get handed pamphlets that were cartoons about the Catholics being terrible and it was always from this Mennonite woman and I was like really like that's it was always like propaganda against Catholics I'm like first off I'm not even Catholic but I just, I don't know. 
I feel like people corner you in those situations because you're working, so you can't, you know, say, like, walk away from them. Because I used to get that a lot at my job. And I was just like, I don't really want to talk about religion or politics or anything with customers. I don't really want to talk about that while I'm at work. I just want to work. Uh-oh, I am going to die. Welp. Do I have- oh, okay, I have enough. You're fine, don't worry about it. Hugo Batman says, I sit next to our company's call center. If you had to deal with half the crap I heard, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, yeah. I used to, like, do some of the mail. Uh, I used to work at the same place that he does now. And sometimes you couldn't tell where, like, who was supposed to get a certain letter, so I would have to open it and kind of, like, read a little bit and to determine who got the letter. And a lot of it was letters that people wrote complaining about the company, and they were, like, really nasty. <laughs> It's like, holy crap, people have no lives. Because a lot of times it wasn't even really a legitimate complaint. It was just people being nasty. No, don't eat it. Don't eat it. Thank you, jeez. Bethy says, people get mad for the stupidest things. That is true. H. Smooth says, I have a message for Meanie Pants. Go get stepped on by Big Daddy, would you kindly? Well, they're not going to see it because I was like, uh, I'm going to block you now. <laughs> well, especially because they were commenting on other people's threads. They weren't even commenting to me directly. And I was like, that just shows me that you just want attention. Because you're trying to you know, get a rise out of people who were watching. So I was like, no. I'm just gonna put an end to this right now. So. I did. F. Razor says, I didn't. I did it for two years and then resigned with anxiety and depression. Dude, I would have been in the same boat. I can't. <laughs> Just the things that people complain about. Oh, I need to keep that. Because that goes in the community center. Um, I also need to get the sea urchin out. So I'll just take them to the community center together. Uh, Debu Pengu says, you see that for Buddhism there? Just curious. Uh, yeah, people in our area do not, <laughs> are not for Buddhism, so no, I've never seen that. I've never seen that before. <laughs> DJM says, what is religion? What is politics? So what is the goal of your farm? The goal of my farm to I don't I don't know if I have a goal for my farm. I'm not very good at uh, designing things like some people have gorgeous farms. I'm mostly focusing on like uh, the community center and kind of building my skills right now. I'm not really thinking too much about the design of the farm. It's nice because you can move buildings around now, so I'm not too stressed about, you know, if I put something in the wrong place, I can still move it. Debu Pengu says, in Singapore, people who complained are usually polite with amazing English, but persistent about the tiny little details. Yeah, I think people here just swear at each other. 
in like ridiculously. Sorry, I have to wipe my gunners off again. F. Razor says, I'm now studying computer game design and following my passion. I'm just starting my own game this week, actually, so I guess every cloud has a silver lining. That's awesome. Good for you. For getting out of the call center and doing what you actually want to do with your life. Debbie Pango says, oh, that's interesting. I've never heard something like that before. Does that mean the town is close-knitted since they have relatively same mindsets? It's like, it's just like a small backwoods town kind of thing. Like, they're very, I don't know, judgmental around here. Like, in our school, and like, in our high school, if somebody was LGBT, it was, like, this big deal, and nobody ever... I don't think anybody ever actually, like, harassed them to, you know, or beat them up or something, but it, it was definitely, like, people didn't like it, they made fun of them. It's definitely not accepted around here. And, like, I don't know, it just, it's just kind of astounding, really. I don't get why other people have so much investment in what other people do. It's like, worry about yourself, you know? And what do you care? Be honest, you'd be great at Minecraft. Oh my gosh, no. I would not be good at Minecraft. Also, I really don't like the look of Minecraft. Personally. I know a lot of people love it. It's very innovative and very interesting, but I just... I never got into it myself. Not hating on it, just... Wasn't really my thing. Echoey says, I'm back from the dins. Awesome. It's still fall. <laughs> it's gonna be for a while. So you didn't miss your favorite season. F. Razor says, I barely remember high school now. Too long ago. LOL. I graduated high school in 2000. Oh, wow. Things done, unfortunately. John Monroe's first impression on Minecraft story mode. Is that the Telltale one? I don't know if I would like that. <laughs> did I never get my freaking pickaxe? I did not. Wow. Cam Conan says, that's when I was born. Debu Panga says, it's really surprising because the U.S. is usually portrayed to be open-minded. The U.S. was the first one to accept the LGBT community. Well, the thing is, it depends on where you live. Because in Pennsylvania, like, we live in more of the small town sort of, why am I going this way? We live in more of the small town area, but if you go down to, like, Philly or, um... Uh, like the bigger cities then people are more open-minded and more uh, willing to accept you know other people who make different choices than they do and have different lives than they do but uh, yeah and there's a lot of pockets of smaller towns where it's not like that and unfortunately that's where we live 
So it really, a lot of it depends on if you're living in the city or if you're living in a rural area. Obviously not every case, but. F. Fraser says, you all make me feel old. Moped Dude says, I'm 33. I think I have the most oldness here. DJ Ham says, I feel old just from Cam Quindlin's statement. Yeah, she's a babu. Cam Quindlin says, in some areas like cities, but most other areas, no. Also, the U.S. was super behind with most LGBT things. A lot of other countries were ahead. Crystal Blaze says, you live in PA? I do too. I do, unfortunately. <laughs> Oh, Moped is the oldest. Now we know. A futan bear. Does that mean I can sleep on it? Cam Quindlin says PA is as eloquent. Crystal Blaze says you sound like you want to leave. I'm planning on leaving, actually. Like, within the year. Like, within a year, I guess. Shorter than that, really. I have never liked it here. <laughs> Honestly. Very excited to leave. Do I get the Nautilus shell from the beach? I thought so. Or do I have to get it in the desert? Oh, it's been too long. I can't remember. Moped dude says, damn whippersnappers. I think we have, like, a huge variety of ages here. Because some people are pretty young, too. Bethy says, okay, I'm back with popcorn. Guys, I went to the movies last week. I had movie theater popcorn for the first time in forever, and it was amazing. I love movie theater popcorn. So good. See, look at all these little babs. John Murrow says, I'm 17. Crystal Blaze says, I'm 18. Echoey's one of the youngins. I think, uh... Mystic Jedi is pretty young, too. You smalls. All the smalls. Who should probably not be watching me because I'm not appropriate. Let's put this giant bear right there. He looks like a grumpy bear. Lizard mob, thank you for the follow. Mystic Jedi, you're 23? I must have been thinking of someone else, I'm sorry. Now I feel bad. There was somebody here who was really young. And I can't remember, I don't think they're here uh, for this stream though. DJM says young adult-ish, but gets asked, would you like a kid's menu? <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, if it makes you feel better, Eco Batman always gets carded. If he wants, like, if he has a drink at a restaurant, every time he gets carded. <laughs> and I get carded buying mature video games, so every time. And you only have to be 17 to buy them. <laughs> F. 
F. Fraser says, it's only a matter of time before we start telling the kids to get off our lawns and talking about how things were in the olden days before the internet and Facebook and Pokemon. I, I would tell kids to get off my lawn today. Let's be honest. Not Zella, thank you for the follow. Tebu Panga says, looking young is good now. I guess, but I was like, what? Like, every time it happens, I just stare at them like, what? <laughs> Cam Quinlan says, I didn't get carded for an M-rated game. Yeah, she was standing right behind me, too. That's the BS of it all. It was Black Friday, and I got carded buying Saints Row 4, and she was buying, I don't even remember what, Tomb Raider, I think it was, and she was standing right behind me, and I got carded, and she didn't. I was like, are you serious? DJM says, I'm the same age as Mystic Jedi, and they still ask you for a kid's menu? Wow. Wow. Crystal Blaze says, Eco Batman, tell us a story. Yeah, Eco Batman, tell us a story. Echoey says, I think blank name said he was 12 or 13. Yes, I think that might have been who it was, actually. I'm sorry, Mystic Jedi, I feel bad now. <laughs> I didn't make I didn't want to make you feel awkward. F. Razor says, oh, today's my 8th month anniversary for giving up alcohol. Oh, congratulations. That's awesome. Good job. Toilet Observer says, people thought I was a senior when I was a freshman. Oh, so you're the opposite. Arctic Snail says, I'm turning 21 in January. Yeah, there's like a variety of ages going on here. I really think that Linus looks like a really old Fred Flintstone. <laughs> um, oh jeez. DJM says they judge off my shortness and playing video games in front of staff, I guess. Echoey says I'm small and tall. You don't feel good, Mystic Jedi? Are you kind of still feeling sick to the stomach? Eco Batman says, I was amazed by the Game Boy Link cable. My friend got one and we traded Pokemon. It blew my mind. That is a really lame story. Think of a better one. <laughs> I don't know why I was up here. Oh yeah, I was gonna fish. Nagapal says, my sis is 21 and short for her age, around 5 foot. I'm taller than her by a quarter, so when my sis wanted a margarita, they made her pull out her ID and driver's license and watch her very carefully as she drank. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Mystic Jedi has the runs, in case anybody was interested. I'm sorry that your butt is going to explode. I hope that you feel better. <laughs> Just chug some Pepto. All that for a chub. Crystal Blaze says, hi, I remember those days. I had a purple link cable for my Game Boy Color. I think it was like third party though. I'm pretty sure it was like a Pelican branded one because it came with this whole kit that had like the magnifying glass and the light and stuff. Pretty sure I still have all of that stuff somewhere. Debu, P Debu Pango says I'm not even allowed to drink. And DJM says still have two of my Game Boy Link cables. Yeah, I think I still have mine. I definitely still have all my Pokemon games from when I was a kid. 
what is Pelago? I don't know what that is, Twilight Observer. Arctic Snail says, I'm probably going to get drunk off my ass since we elected a racist tangerine. Dude, don't destroy your body just because of what happened. Even if you are upset about it, it's really not going to help. Echoey says, I tried beer once, tasted awful. Echoey looks into the distance. Beer smells awful. I have never tasted it and I have no desire to. But I personally don't drink, so... Just not interested myself. I think the eel is in the ocean. I should have probably been fishing there. Well, it happens. F. Razor says curls up for a nap. I could go for a nap. I'm really tired. I was up too early. Way too early. Oh. Part of Sun and Moon where the Pokemon you have in boxes can do their own thing like farm for berries, gather items, etc. Interesting. Arctic Snail says, I finally understand why you want to leave Pennsylvania. Yeah, it's not great. That does sound uh, kind of tedious, Twilight Observer. That thesis says, I'm hoping tomorrow's a snow day and I don't have school. For a second I forgot you were in Canada and I was like, you should not have school anyway, but then I remembered. You kind of want to study in the state university there where Pennsylvania? Like Penn State? I would not recommend that it's a really big school so it's really hard to get individual like attention the class sizes are huge also it's one of the biggest party schools out there <laughs> but if that doesn't bother you then full speed ahead Bethy says, I wish I had tomorrow off. I'll just pretend to be American and buy a turkey. That'll probably work. <laughs> I'm sure your teachers will believe you. Just be like, yeah, didn't you know that I'm American? Debbie Pangu says, party schools, what are those? Uh, party school is a school with a reputation for people just partying and drinking and not really doing what they're supposed to be doing I think it was listed in the top was it top 10 in the US something like that I don't know you'd have to look it up but uh, yeah it's it's known for being a party school
PGM says, get me out of America, please, and thank you. Negapal says, I plan on going to France. H. Smooth says, I love blasting aliens on Halo. <laughs> Arctic Snail says, people who go to college just to party piss me off. Yeah. It's, first off, it's way too expensive to go, to go to college for that reason. Like, I don't see how people afford it. But. The school that I went to had quite a bit of partying. as well. Not really my scene. Hmm, what do we want to do? We could go mining, I guess. Oh wait, can I break these now? Now that I have the steel pickaxe? Cam Quinlan says, Lycoming is like the opposite of a party school. Everyone is a nerd and stays inside to study. Crystal Blaze says, Why pay that much to party when you can party by yourself for free? That's a good point. Yeah, well, when you're done with college and you're looking sadly at your mounting debt. <laughs> it's not fun. John Murrow says Overwatch makes me rage. I have not played Overwatch, but the characters are super fascinating to me. Echoey says, look at them beautiful trees. Love in the fall, Echoey, huh? Is that Tom Fox, Arctic Snail? That looks like Tom Fox. Oh man, I'm gonna die. Oh my gosh, this field. Okay, we need to like take care of this. This is important. I think the purple mushroom though might go. Yeah, field research. So let's head to the hot spring and then wait. Did I check? Okay, we'll head to the hot spring and then go to the community center and then come back and clear out some of this field a little bit. Arctic Snail says, yes, it is Tom Fox. I'm a sub -a Oh, Tom Fox makes me laugh. Echoey says, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. You and your creative little emotes, Echoey. I'm glad you're starting to feel better, Mystic Jedi. Crystal Blaze says, at my high school, people would attend school just to roam the halls. It was interesting. Sometimes I would record the dumb ones. Uh... <laughs> I'm skipping his stream for you, girl. Tom streams a lot. <sighs> I wish I knew what audio mixer he used. He has some really cool effects that he does.
Our schools did not work that way. They actually took attendance in our classes. <laughs> so you couldn't really just roam the halls. Like, if you tried to skip school or your class, they would call your parents. Debbie Pangu says, are schools there like High School Musical, like popularity in Mean Girls? I had Mean Girls in my class. Like, from elementary school, you could tell which ones were going to be like that. <laughs> I, I, I would not say that everybody goes around singing all of a sudden. That did not really happen. Also, if you were in the singing groups, you were not really cool. So... That's also a difference. Arctic Snell says, I'm also skipping Foxtrot, aka Molly, aka Lord Minion's girlfriend. Oh, okay. You're skipping two people for this amazingly exciting stream. Cam Quinn says, pretty much, there are a lot of clicks. There are a lot of clicks in our high schools. Iga Batman says, what do you mean? People burst into song and dance all the time in high school. Uh, you might have alone. <laughs> Crystal Blaze says, I mean, our school had attends, but people didn't care. This stream is prime. Uh, Twilight Observer says, if you want, I might be able to get you an Eevee early in sun. I'm breeding a leaf and a ditto. Um... You can check with people in the chat if they want to do that. I don't really want to cheat uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon. I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way. But thank you. I'm just kind of going along and seeing which Pokemon I come across. I was really hoping there would be... Uh, a Dragon-type Eevee by now. But... Did not happen. This stream is sass, pretty much. I like your Twitch Prime crown. It looks very nice. The best sass. DJM says, my college was a mini mix of drunk, drunks and smokers and drug users, people who party with and without teachers, wow, <laughs> and people like me who attended class, sat and played games in the game lounge class again, and then go home. <laughs> yeah, I pretty much went to class and then, like, came back, ate food, played video games, and read books. That's pretty much what I did. Meanwhile, my roommate, who was my friend from college, she was having all sorts of strange adventures, and I never knew that anything was going on, because I always had my door shut. <laughs> and she was like, yeah, this person did this last night, and this person did this, and I was like, whoa, I didn't even, I didn't even know. I had my headphones in, and I was dead to the world. <laughs> Arctic Snail says, my college is a dry campus and I prefer it that way. Oh, I'm pretty sure the campus was supposed to be dry. But, uh... <laughs> that didn't happen. We had things like Wasted Wednesday, Thirsty Thursday. Friday was just Friday, it didn't really need a name. Hey, towels, what's up? Debu Pangu, a dry campus means that you're not allowed or permitted to have alcohol on the campus. Even if you are of age. And yeah, I think, mo I, I would think that most of them in the U.S. are. 
Debbie Pango's not from the U.S., so... Debbie Pango says we have mugging Monday through Friday. Oh my gosh. People are really competitive in your course. I didn't really get the sense- I did not get that sense in my college at all. That people were really competitive in their field. <laughs> Oh, look at these beautiful eggplants. So satisfying once the plants start growing, especially in fall. It just looks really nice. Debbie Pengu says, I think my school is partially wet. Haha, <laughs> is that how you use it? Um, I don't think anybody says wet campus. I think it just goes one way. But, uh... Yeah, it's just a... I don't know where that really... I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense. Like, where it came from. But at the same time, it's kind of a weird saying. <laughs> You're studying in NTU in Singapore. That's pretty cool. Towel says, give me a towel to wipe my tears. Well, Echoey has towels as her curtains, so she might be able to give you a towel. Yulian says, you're lucky if your college wasn't competitive, then it's easier to get accepted into more academic programs. Yeah. Um, well, my college was a state school, so it was already easier to get into. And basically how I approached college, which is not the way that you should approach college, and I highly advise against it, was I did not really... It was kind of one of those things that seemed really surreal to me. Like, I didn't think it was ever going to happen. And then it was like, you're a senior and you need to pick a college. And I was like, ah, about that. So... It, I, I did not do my research. I just sort of picked one and then ended up transferring after a year to commute from home and then transferred from there. <laughs> so, yeah, it was... you State schools usually aren't as difficult to get into. I mean... So... Yeah, it wasn't super competitive to do. It was funny, though, because my roommate and I were both pretty good students. And uh, we were asked to be in the Honors College. And the Honors College had the older dorms. So they were, like, shared. Like, one room, two tiny beds shared. And that was it. There was no bathroom. There was no nothing. And then they had just built these, like, really nice dorms with, like, <coughs> a small kitchen <coughs> and a bathroom and separate rooms and we're like why would we go to the honors college and stay in those crappy rooms I, I don't think I could have handled living in the same tiny room as someone with no bathroom Wolf Chira thank you for the follow I hope I pronounced that correctly you can correct me if I'm wrong sorry I need to take a drink I'm like coughing Robitussin, you are failing me. Uh, but anyway, so we we're like, no, we're not doing the the uh, honors college. And then they sent us like right before classes started. They sent us each letters, and we're like, are you sure you don't want to come to the honors college? Because <laughs> I don't think they had a lot of people who wanted to do that, like a lot of freshmen. And I was like, well. 
I don't want to live there. <laughs> Tal says DC is great, just don't get mugged. That's comforting. Tal says, I want to go out of state, but my parents tell me, no, you're staying here. And you live in Maryland? That's not, f that's not too far away from me, actually. But yeah, you should definitely do what you want, because if you don't, you're going to regret it. Even if it doesn't seem like you can do it, you should do everything you can to make it happen. Cam Quinlan says, that's how most dorms are. Sadly, every college I've looked at has those smaller shared dorms. I've seen a couple. They're called, they, they call them suites, but um, I've seen a couple that are more like that. Crystal Blaze says, I was bored all night and then I found this stream. Now I'm happy. Dude. I always upload my streams to YouTube, too, so there's, like, playlists of just, like, long-ass streams if you need something to do. Yulian says, I need an interview. I need to find a way to practice. I have nearly zero experience in interviews. Practice does really help, even if it seems weird to be kind of practicing out loud to yourself. H. Smooth says Robitussin works, but it tastes nasty. Robitussin tastes like a foot mixed with berries. Hey, Magpie, what's up? Debu Pengu says there are awesome videos on YouTube to get you started from introducing yourself to what to wear. That is true. Mystic Jedi says in Darth Vader voice, Robitussin, you have failed me for the last time. Flushes tablet down the toilet. No, it's not even the tablet. It's the gross, like, liquid... Robitussin. So bad. Cam Quinlan says, Lycoming has nice dorms. They're shared, but you can stack the beds if you want. Yeah, that's how it was in Eco Batman's um, dorms. You could stack your beds if you wanted to. I think that's what they did. I, I don't know. I... I would have to really get along with the person to be able to live with someone like that. Especially in a college setting, like, because not being a drinker, it would have been kind of uncomfortable to have a bunch of people partying and stuff in the room. Plus, I like, I really like having my own space and privacy, so... Schmoot says, I watch those. Echoey says, Robitussin tastes like nothing in the worst way possible to me. I freaking hate Robitussin so much. So bad. Why can't every medicine taste like penicillin? Because then it would just taste like bubblegum. DJM says, past few months been making me crappy, but Kia's sassy videos always help my mood pick up. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. I know what you mean. I think it's been rough. The past couple weeks, especially for people. Yulian says, well, I hear they ask really weird questions like, if you were in a sorority and you were in, in a party and there's a drunken unconscious person lying in front of you, what would you do? Oh, wow. The answer is roll them over so they don't die from vomiting in their own mouth and choking on it. <laughs> That's a start. Because that can happen. Debbie Panga says my parents didn't allow me to stay in dorms. They were afraid I would get mugged and molested. Wow. Is that a rational fear?
No, get out of here, bat. Bat, I swear. I'm just trying to live my life. Kem Quinlan says, well, my friend that moved to Illinois and I want to do the same thing, so she was looking into coming back to PA and go to Lycoming so we can be roommates. Oh, that's nice. Oh, there we go. Debu Pango says, No, it's quite safe here, but I guess they're worried I might become bad or bully. Oh, so it's a cover. Aw, oh, I like I like that nice music. But now I'm about to get murdered, so. Oh, oh, nope. Not today, not today, sucker. Alright, made it to level 65, that's good. Well, it's half my health though. College major, Twitch streaming. I'd get an A. Not really in streaming, I don't stream that much. I would get a C for effort. <laughs> if I were a Twitch stream major. What if that actually happened in the future? That would be crazy. Tal says I finished Pokemon Moon in three days. Oh my gosh. I probably would have too if I were playing on my own. But recording, I can't really do too many sessions without it either getting unbearably hot or just like uncomfortable. I'm kind of hoping that on Black Friday... They'll do a deal on DX Racer chairs because I would like to have a better chair. And I might ask for that for Christmas. Die! Did your Pokemon video get claimed? It did not. Uh, as far as I know, Pokemon is... Like, not... Nintendo isn't as nasty about Pokemon, but I think that's because it's developed by Game Freak. Like, Nintendo doesn't develop it. They just publish it. So I think they're more harsh about their own IPs than... I mean, I guess Pokemon is still technically their IP, but I think they're more harsh with things that they develop and publish. Um, strangely, they are not with Animal Crossing. I, I don't know why. I'm happy about it, obviously, but they don't seem to care with Animal Crossing. But Splatoon, man. <laughs> Splatoon, they jumped on Splatoon. I'm hoping that they're not like that with Mario Party, because... I want to play the new 3DS Mario Party. We'll have to see. I always have to just kind of hope that they don't... I mean, I am part of the Nintendo Creators Program, so I could register it, but I would still lose revenue. So... Oh, man. We gotta go. You need, a, you need some sunlight in the mirror shield from Majora's Mask down there? Heck yes. Professor Kita Twitch Streaming 101? Yeah. I don't think so. I don't think I would be the best person to teach people how to stream.
Arctic Snail says to Captain Quindlin, more scary games, please. Her favorite. I'm still mad that we lost the footage for, um... When did the heck did I get this? I wasn't even paying attention. <sighs> I'm, yeah, I'm still upset that we lost the footage for, uh, Outlast 2, the demo. Because that would have been an entertaining video. House says, first class, get a camera, then play games. You all pass. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'd be stricter than that. Choco Taco says, my pride and joy is a shiny Zarina that I accidentally found while training in Lush Jungle. Man, that's awesome. I almost always overlevel my Pokemon. <laughs> Whoops. That's how I roll. I named her Peach because Princess Peach was over the character limit. Aw. You want to talk about character limits? Freaking Story of Seasons has the worst character limits ever. Oh, I learned how to cook a tortilla. Great. Uh, it's raining. That means we should probably go back to the mine and be productive. Amaranth isn't ready yet. Soon. Oh, wait. Fall crops. Duh. Duh. Who was not paying attention? We need an eggplant, a pumpkin, and a yam. Okay, well, the pumpkin and the yam are still growing. I guess we'll just make it a super fun mining day. Oh, I should stop by the museum, though. Okay. Not what I wanted. Oh, wow. I have... A lot of uh, lumber here and some stone. I'm gonna wait till I have a little bit more money to make the chicken coop, though. Do we have any mushrooms today? I can never remember if I got the mushrooms or not. Tao says, I don't understand why people want to trade a level 1 Litten for a level 1 Litten. Like, what? I don't know. Maybe they want a different nature? Or something? Wow. 46 common mushrooms. <laughs> FK36 says, got an Eevee egg and almost immediately it evolved into a Sylveon due to brushing it after every battle. Hey, FK306, when did you show up? Hey, who are we sacrificing to me? In the name of me? Well, welcome, FK306. I am coughing. It's fun. <coughs> so fun. I wonder how many mucinex you can take in a day before it'll kill you. Hmm. Probably important information.
your room, restroom, and kitchen are being redone. Holy crap. Mini donuts says six. Six Mucinex. Well, I took two, but it was a long time ago. And I think the gunk is coming back in my chest. Bronchitis sucks, let me tell you. You think it's gone, and then it comes back. It tries to kill you. Tal says I've been coughing for like three weeks and I just shove three cough drops in my mouth. Well, it's not just, like, it's weird because it's not just a cough that's like, comes with sore throat and all that stuff. There's actual, like, this weird weight in my chest. Because it's all, like, mucked up. So I feel like I need to take something that'll break up the mucus in my chest. Which sounds lovely, but... It's the truth. Oh, wow. John Monroe. I did not know that. He says, I wanted to name my lily pup Kiki, but apparently Kiki is a slang word for a woman's private area. I've never heard that. I've only heard Kiki used as a name. So I'm a little confused. There's something called Byriki, where the cough became so bad it lasts for 100 days. Oh, please, no. Please, no. You better not sacrifice FK306's chicken. She'll come after you. Tal says, I started coughing in my chemistry class. My teacher asked me if I wanted H2O. I was so done. Wow, what a sassy teacher. Alright, let's see how far... Oh gosh, these things. Let's see how far we can go in the mine. Today, since it's raining. I keep forgetting that the bottom of the mine is actually like what 120 we are only on level 65 it's a long road oh fk306 do you know when we get a good sword i don't really want to buy one Uses dark magic to bring it back as a void chicken. Still haven't gotten one of those. After putting how many hours into Stardew Valley? I'm glad I got my dinosaur egg, though. Stop murdering me! It's not okay. Toilet Observer says, did I ever bring up when my physical science teacher caused a fire on his floor? <laughs> because that happened. That's great. There were these girls in my um, chemistry class who used to pull out pieces of their hair that had, like, they were severely hairsprayed. And then they would put them in the Bunsen burner fire, which is not a good idea. I do not advise doing that. <laughs> By the way. Oh my gosh, look at this, like, trove of iron over here. FK306 says, you get the obsidian edge sword on floor 90. Okay, that's a long way. I may have to buy a better sword in the meantime, because we're only on level 66 here. And who knows when we're going to get to level 90. Good sword drops come at 60 plus. Thank you, Icy Cold. Ah! 
good lord. I need a better sword. Not that I don't love my pirate sword, but come on. And these stupid ghost buttholes. Get out of my life. Twilight Observer says, like, a ball of sodium broke when he was holding it, and he didn't pick it up, so when the janitor cleaned his room, the floor lit on fire. Well, that must have been a shock for the janitor. Master Slingshot at level 70, but I don't know how to use Slingshot, so that's a useless weapon for me. I don't like the Slingshots. Just give me a sword and let me stab things. Have you seen me play Dishonored? Like, this is how I roll. I didn't miss the ladder. Somewhere. There it is. Shoot, was that? No, I don't think it was. I thought that might have been fire quartz there for a minute, but I, I don't think it was. There should be void bunnies in Stardew. I agree, that'd be cool. The other major floors have shoes and star drop in the skull team. Right. Almost there. We can just get one more. We are definitely going to need a better sword, though. If we're trying to go further in the mine, this one's not going to cut it. <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry, guys. No! Key to stare down with a ghost. I will stare him down. Hands a cough drop. Thank you. I could use 10 and more mucinex. We have really shady mucinex because I think we had two different bottles of it and I must have consolidated them at one point so I put them in like one generic bottle and it just says Mucinex on it. I'm like, wow, that looks shady. <laughs> that looks really shady. And then Captain Quindlin comes out of nowhere to say, I want Dairy Queen. <laughs> I wouldn't say no to Dairy Queen.
FK306s have only been to Dairy Queen once in my life. Really? I don't even know you anymore. I thought I knew you. Oh, one little gold ore. <gasps> I got the second dwarf scroll? Awesome. I hope I can actually get them all in this playthrough. Because I never did manage to get them. All four of them in the other one. Thermal boots... Um, I guess I'll keep the the ones I have on. And I got a ghost fish at some point. You got a litten egg? Are you breeding litten right now? Icy Cold 17, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. <coughs> ah, this cough. So what's everybody having for dinner tomorrow? Oh, love for combat. Awesome. If you celebrate, of course. Is everybody going the traditional turkey, mash, mashed potatoes, and stuffing route? Or does your family have a different tradition? I have had some Thanksgivings with some very weird food, so that is why I ask. I prefer the traditional turkey, but... Nothing, my kitchen is being remodeled? Wow. Oh, I think I remember where his basket is. Yes! The cranberries. They're finally ready. Look at this. Can you see all the money? That's about to appear in my pocket. Fine, I'll go get the stupid scythe. <sighs> Can't use my sword. Wow, that's a lot of cranberries. Thanksgiving stuff. <laughs> Girl, is you alright? Not really. Talos says I've never had turkey. You've never had turkey? What is wrong with you? Debu Penguin says, oh, bang means sex. It does. It's usually used as a verb, but it doesn't always have to be. Oh my gosh, why? Every time, why can you not face the correct direction? John Maro says, my family covers the turkey with a spicy red chili puree. That sounds interesting. Never had anything like that before. Sounds good, though. Tal says, my grandparents told me it tasted bad, so I never got to eat it. What? 
Honestly, it kind of tastes like chicken. I mean, it has like a slightly different taste, but for the most part, it tastes pretty similar <coughs> to chicken. So, Debu Panga says, oh yeah, it's Thanksgiving there. Yeah, tomorrow. Oh, Thanksgiving. Just another excuse to sit around with your disappointing family. Sorry, was that too dark? Tal says, we used to have hot pot during Thanksgiving, but my family got lazy. Ah. Jamara says, my mom's making macaroni and cheese. Hashtag hype. Ooh, that sounds good. Macaroni and cheese is the best. Well, I have I have my water. I really need to take more mucinex though, because yeah. I'm just like dying. Well, it doesn't matter. I can take it right now. But thank you. Good Batman just came in and was like, "Do you need a drink? <laughs> You're dying." One, two. Uh, two, please. Who the heck takes one pill? Come on. Let's be real. Take all the pills. Don't take all the pills. Do not do that. Oh, thank you. I like your description of Thanksgiving. Oh, well, well it's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. I've taken my Mucinex. <laughs> Now, did not taste good. Tastes like feet. But, what are you gonna do? Alright. I'm trying to think. We need to give Marnie one of these because she wants one. I'm hoping that'll bump her friendship up enough so that we can get Mayor Lewis's panties from her house. Really hoping. Nagapal says at least he cares, he doesn't have to. Well, he kind of has to. He's married to me. He should care. <laughs> it's kind of important in a relationship. Caring about the other person. John Miros says he had an eco-relationship goals. Marty! What the heck? Shouldn't she be here? It's Monday. Where is she? Ugh, am I gonna have to hunt her down? There she is. Hey. Well, uh, are we friends now? Yes, I'm going for the panties. <laughs> T Jam says, Aw, so cute. You and Bat. Me and Bat. Me and the Bat. I'm off for the panties. You found the lucky purple shorts. Nah, I think I'll just go around with them on my head. Can I talk to Marty about them? Wrong person. Pretending you don't know what I'm talking about. I see how it is. Hey, are we good enough friends that I can take some other dude's pants from your house? Yes. Lol. Okay, thanks. Bye. That's pretty much what just happened. Like, oh, okay, we're friends now, so I can just pick up these dirty underwear. 
sitting on your floor. Like, how did he forget his underwear? Like, he was in that much of a hurry? I guess so. But, geez. Okay, but the thing is, we're not gonna give these back to him right away. We're gonna make him feel really uncomfortable for a while. I'm just gonna put them in there with the rest of my trash and this random picture. We're just gonna keep them for a little while. In the chest. Magpie says, Marnie only works on most days. Hey, I found your underwear, but I'm not gonna give it to you. Sucker. Debu Pengu says, other days she bangs the mayor, bangs him. Oh no, we're teaching Debu Pengu bad words. Well, it's not really a curse word or anything, but inappropriate things. I really hope I find the other two scrolls. Debbie Pengus says, I just wanted to use the new word. Frame the underwear. I wish I could hang the underwear up on my wall. And then invite him over and not reference it. Just be like, up and just like have that look on your face okay so the sturdy valley fair is on the 16th so i need to remember that <laughs> i cannot forget that do not let me forget it i need to do the sturdy valley fair okay the other day she cries because lewis doesn't want a committed relationship no he just wants to fling his panties around sicko Oh, is there a full bundle? Oh. Well, I should have done that. <coughs> Cam Quinlan says he's way too old for her. Well, maybe so, but they're still enjoying it. TJM says, that smirk look like sup, Mayor. See anything interesting? Exactly. That's exactly the look. Just this big freaking grin on your face. Well, he's looking horrified that you have mounted his lucky underwear on your wall. Debbie Pangu says, shouldn't he be infertile at his age? Usually for males, at age 75, your sperm is dead. I don't know much about sperm. I... I can't really say that for sure. I don't think she's necessarily trying to, like, have his babies. I mean, as long as he doesn't have erectile dysfunction, I think she's okay. Wow, you're gonna hold nasty <laughs> sex underwear in t for two game weeks? That's disgusting. You should be ashamed. Hey, it's not in my house. It's in my, it's in my treasure chest outside. John Murrow says, Lewis should be a love candidate, so one of the events could be Mar Marnie walking in on you and Lewis. Oh my gosh. That would be... That would be strange. Can you do a crusade for me? What, like a raid? I don't know if I... I'm really up for doing a raid tonight, to be honest. Bundle complete. Oh my gosh. Fall seeds. Yikes. Debbie Pengu says the world is so complicated. It is. 
Megapal says Kita lets Lewis into her house, and here we have my most prized possession, points at the mayor's underwear. Exactly. Real housewives of Stardew Valley. Captain Quindlin, thank you for the host. No, like the original Crusades? I don't think you should have a holy war in my name. Oh, you just wanted to see the dance? You didn't want to host me? I see how it is, Quinn. Twilight Observer says, I wouldn't be surprised if someone modded that in. That would not surprise me either, to be honest. Then if you marry Marnie, Lewis quits and you become the mayor instead. Debbie Pinkus says, that doodle, this doodle bot is so diligent. Doodle Bob is very diligent. He takes his job very seriously. All right, let's actually, let's go to the ocean and try to get an eel. Or are they only in summer? Is it the walleye? <sighs> I think the eel might only be in summer. Hmm. I have to actually, like, look this stuff up, then. Cam Quinlan says, and then it becomes Animal Crossing. That's really how you become the mayor in Animal Crossing? Twilight Observer says, all, <laughs> says, all hail Doodlebot. Mini Donut says eel is spring and fall, but when it's raining and at night. Okay. Thank you for that. Wow. A soda. Question Would you drink a soda that you fished up out of a lake, having no idea how long it's been there? Would you drink it? Is the question. Thank you, Mini Donuts. I can't remember where to get the walleye. I think the walleye's in fall? Maybe I'm wrong. Cam Quinlan says, if it was sealed. You would really drink a Coke or something that you fished up out of a lake? If it was sealed? How? What if it was there for like 20 years? Nagapal says, if it's Pepsi, no. If it's Dr. Pepper, yes. Choco Taco says, if it was iced tea in a glass closed bottle, yes. Debbie Pengu says, what is Dr. Pepper? Dr. Pepper is a soda that I... It, it's, it's definitely a soda that you either love or hate. I don't think there's really many people in the middle on Dr. Pepper. I am not a Dr. Pepper person myself. But a lot of people do like it. Hot chocolate. Cam Quinlan says, then looks like I'm dead. I'm ready to die anyways. Well, on that uplifting note... John Murrow says, someone order a pizza, I'll pay 10%. We had pizza tonight, actually. It was quite good. Is it spicy like it burns? Um, I don't, how do you, how would you describe Dr. Pepper? I 
I don't know how to describe what Dr. Pepper tastes like. What are you doing? <clears throat> oh, that's Shane. It's like, what are you doing? Jemro says, people who don't like it says it tastes like medicine. I don't know if it tastes like medicine. Medicine, I think, more of like a cherry flavor. Cam Quinlan says, it's not spicy. I think it's super good. Eco Batman says, pepper is just a name. It's sweet. Cam Quinlan says, it's almost like cherry coke. I don't know about that. I don't know. It has a very distinct, like, its own flavor. No, don't eat the... Don't... Eat the blackberry. Ten out of ten, lit and hatched. Awesome. Was it what you wanted? Same to you, cat. Uh, John Moreau says a tastier version of root beer. I don't know. It yeah, it's really hard to describe what it tastes like. <clears throat> Oh, all right, guys. Well, <laughs> we are at 10 o'clock, so I think I'm going to go because I am, like, really struggling to suppress coughing. But thank you guys so much for coming to the stream. I hope that if you are celebrating Thanksgiving tomorrow that you have a nice holiday and that your family doesn't bother you too much. But, uh, Thank you guys all for coming. I'll be streaming more Stardew next Wednesday. Eventually, once I get far enough into Pokemon Sun, I'll start doing some shiny hunting, which I'm very excited to start doing, but I'm not sure when that's going to be. It really depends on how quickly I can record the game. But anyway, I do appreciate you guys coming and hanging out this evening. And I will see you guys next week.